Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Uh, I actually have discovered this area before by the looks of it. Yeah, Miss Karkand. I'm just here. So that's cool. Um, I was going to mention, so I actually didn't look this up. I really should have. There are the Nine Divines, of course. But above the Nine Divines, there are actually more gods. Um, obviously, like, when we say God, we understand it to mean, like, the, the deistic forces. But above the Daedra and Aedra, who are loosely the same level, also there's the Magna Gay and other divine spirits. I'm googling it now. Anu and Padome. Okay, I could remember Padome, and that Padome is also, also called Sithis. Uh, but Anu is the one that eluded me. Um, and Anu and Padome are like, this is one of those things that's hard to explain because all things are true. Uh, Anu and Padome are both, um, parts of a bigger god, a bigger -er god. Bitterfish, Goblin, Berserk, huh? Scales, huh? I guess that's the fish part. Um, Anu and Padome are both parts of a larger god that is called the Godhead. I th think... Oh, God. I'm blanking on it. It's been too long since I've read the 36 lessons of Vivek. Or maybe Anu is the overgod? The point is, is that there is an overgod, and it's not like... Like, Talos or, or any one of those guys are not the big dudes in charge of the rest of the... The rest of the Pantheon or the rest of the world. There is a dream... Sorry, I'm trying to remember as, as I'm talking. Um, I opened this, so let's finish this out. Oh, it's big in here, huh? Open remotely, huh? Someone's got the garage door opener somewhere. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember. It's the name of a flower is the thing. That's part of why I remember it. Amaranth? Yeah, there's Amaranth, which is like a weird, <laughs> misunderstood, like, divine force above the gods. Because there's the gods that are above the other gods, and then there's got one god that is above them. And the higher up you get, the less there are. So, like, there's all the little Aedra and Daedra, and then there's the loosely 18 specific Daedra and nine divines, depending on who you ask. And then there's Anu and Padome, who are like pieces of an older, bigger god. Sorry, it's hard to understand, but also like it's difficult to get it wrong or to be like accused of getting it wrong when the lore is so not only intentionally obscured, regular welcome stones, huh? Um, not only intentionally obscured and like unreliable narrator stuff. But also, like, just written the way that it is. Um, you know, a big thing in Elder Scrolls is you have to think about who is telling you this story and what they seek to gain from it. Because obviously a Nord supremacist explaining to you who and what Talos is is going to give you a different story compared to an Imperial, a Breton, or any elf telling you who Talos is. Um, so, you know, even when you're reading a wiki page, bear in mind that, like, as objective as wiki pages attempt to be, sometimes just because they are the West Weald, huh? 
That's just the name of this land, huh? Even when wiki pages are attempting to be neutral and objective, sometimes they are still quoting from a game or a character or an in-game book because all the in-game books are written like this. There is no like purely objective in-game book. But they're all quoting from things that are... Uh, you know, subjective and all over the place. So just bear that in mind as I'm, you know, getting this lore wrong. Uh, let's put something in there, huh? 1,000. Wow, that's a lot. Let's just charge it with one of these, huh? This is the wrong one, huh? Um, so for some people, the dream is Anu's dream, but for some people, the dream is Amaranth or something above Anu. But the point is, is that the entire Elder Scrolls franchise is actually taking place inside of a dream. Now, this isn't one of those shitty, oh, it was all a dream, so the story didn't happen twists. The world is real. It just so happens to be the dream of something. And, you know, in a, in a lighter sense, you can observe and believe that to be like, oh, it's Todd Howard's dream, or it's, you know, all the different writers' dreams, because even at its humble beginnings as a D&D &D campaign, the Elder Scrolls lore was collaboratively written. And now that it's a massive, you know, billion dollar gaming franchise. Oh, more of these, huh? I guess I can loot a lot of them, huh? Interesting. Um, now that Elder Scrolls is, you know, a billion dollar video game franchise, of course it's being written collaboratively. Not one person could write the entire game themselves. You know, even for all of the work that Michael Kirkbride did and is putting in, Michael Kirkbride didn't do it all by himself. Just fix that up, but... Got a nicer shield now. This place is weird. I feel like I'm not sure where I'm meant to be going. But anyway, yeah, so it's one of those things where, like, let's save just in case. Fuck. Nice. That was, like, my best attempt yet. And I got my luck pick back. Pardon me, sir. Fighting goblins in the dark. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking here. I'm trying to think, but nothing's happening. So yeah, that's not meant to be one of those things that invalidates it. I hate to quote from a turf here, but quoting from Harry Potter, uh, there's this line that Dumbledore says in the last book that I like. Spoilers, Dumbledore's dead, but, you know, he's it's like an Obi-Wan moment. Because Harry Potter is, despite everything, still pretty derivative. Um, there's this quote where uh, Dumbledore is like... Harry asks Dumbledore, Hey, I'm talking to a dead guy here. Is this real or is this a dream? And Dumbledore's like, Well, yeah, it's a dream, idiot. But what does that mean it's not real? And I like that line. Oh, the shortcut's back around to here. And then that probably lets me go through... I opened this gate... So that probably lets me go through this door. Yeah. Shway. Love to see it. Puzzle solving. Um, and so, like, yes, it's a dream, but that doesn't actually mean anything. Especially because um, Elder Scrolls maybe not directly inspira uh, uh, takes inspiration from, but it does have some inspiration from, you know, Cthulhu mythos and Elder God things. Go fight these guys, huh? 
Oh man, that's so dark. See, on the one hand, the goblins will have shields. So maybe it might be better for me to... Let the skeletons kill them. Oh, but that skeleton has shields. Yeah, this is what I remember from... This is what I remember from all the screenshots of Oblivion. A really dark ca cavern or caravan or cave. Caravan. Just a dark, like, muddy, bluish indoor area. You. Ah! And then somebody fighting an okay modeled skeleton, you know? Really should get in the habit of hitting take all when I want it all. Like now. I'm gonna need to go on a big uh, alchemy spree at some point soon. That was weird. Um, anyway, so yeah, the whole world of Elder Scrolls is one specific gods, and granted, it's like an amazing, super powerful super god, but it is that god's dream. Let's try out a spell here, huh? I think I've got a spell for this. Open very easy lock, open easy lock. Oh, damn. Yeah, well... Nice. That's annoying because, like, I think that's one of the only uh, uh, things that I have to. Here we go. Yeah. I think that's one of the only things that we have, I have to, like, train alteration. So I might not be able to even do alteration. Unless, well, maybe here. Destruction, destruction, restoration, mysticism. Mysticism, but not alteration. Eh, that's alright. Gotta balance this game in some way. Theoretically, of course, but everyone knows that RPGs are one of the worst balanced uh, genres of all time. That's part of the fun, though. Part of the appeal. Yes, unlock him. He ain't got a head. Get him. This place is cool, man. Oh, there's just weird, like, artifacting on that cobweb or something. So anyway, the ghost talking about how, like, life up to this point has actually been a dream. Like, it's straight up literally been a dream for them. Nice. Cool. Got it all. Glad to hear. Um, and dying is waking up. And now they're in the not dream part of their life. That's cool. I like that. I like the little mention of it. Morrowind has a lot of mysticism in the lore. And like... That is present in Skyrim. Ah! But sometimes it's just hard to tell that it, that it's there. Because, like, the plot of Skyrim is so... Uh, it's a little details light, I'll say. Also, because of just the characters that are present in Skyrim... This is something that, like, some people are like, Hey, fuck Skyrim for this. And some people are like, it's fine, it's just this is a character thing and not a, a writing problem. Oh, lord. But in Skyrim, fuck. In 
in Skyrim. Sorry, I'm so focused hardcore. Yes. Base necklace of the sea. Oh man, that's radical. Though I will say it's a little pointless to have water breathing and water walking, and my boots do water walking. Yeah, get him. I don't know if I'm even hitting them, but I believe that I am. Right, katanas are weak. Not that they're weak, they just have low durability. Oh, that's a skeleton hero. A hero to the skeletons. I assume it's just like his class or tier. All right, damn. Dwarven axe, not bad. Oh, that's why, that's part of why I lost so much health. Damn, all right, one mo. I realize also this might be a problem of me like plinking away at a skeleton with uh, something sharp when you're supposed to typically use something blunt on a skeleton to shatter their fragile skeletal bones. Anyway, yeah, sorry that that was like such a long drink uh, for me to just yammer about uh, uh, Elder Scrolls lore and get it all wrong. But you know what? I imagine that that's a big part of what people come here for. Though actually, I actually recently got a, uh, a a very nice comment. Somebody commented on my 36 Lessons of Vivek video, and I was like, people are watching these? <laughs> I was very surprised. I was blown away that people had interest. I'm happy that interest, but... Let's see if we can't... Uh... I don't like this thing. Dump it, I guess. Oh, these are all breaking, huh? Right, this is this is one thing. Uh, oh, I can fix some of these, though, so let's do that. And that'll get some stuff out of my pockets. Yeah. And I'm Apprentice Armorer. They last twice as long. I can't. It outright says I can't repair items of a magical nature yet. That's unfortunate. Why don't we do some uh, alchemy then, huh? I've got a lot of ectoplasm, so let's get rid of that if we can. Oh, that's all it goes with? Great. That's lame. What about scales? I've got a good chunk of those. Just... Regular old default, uh, like, run-of-the-mill poison. That's good. What is bone meal? Bone meal, I have nothing that goes with. Damn. Fire salts? Nothing, huh? How unfortunate. Mandrook root. Well, um... Let's drink one of these just in case, right? And then let's uh, poison... Oh, right, yeah, I dropped my thing. Let's poison... This. Let's drink this, why not? Uh, hmm... Yeah, I gotta sell some of these now that I'm just looking at them. I've got a bunch of stuff in here that, like, I'm just not using. Let's...
Yeah, I know, like, this is the Blade of Woe, and it's, like, special and cool, and, like, you know, you're like, whoa. The Blade of. You know? But, like, eh, fuck the Dark Brotherhood. Was that a buff that, that indicates that I'm at full health? Like, not a buff, but, like, just a little a, a thing that's like, hey, you're at full health now. Will this double? Okay, so it'll just, I think it just goes on to the time. That's all right. I'll eat an apple. I don't give a shit. I'm just wild like that. Oh, my strength is being buffed so I can walk around too. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. Can I... Poison this with something else? Potion of Dispel. Oh, I can put this on. Oh, I can't drink any more potions. The way that they limit the player is so strange sometimes in this game. This might be a thing of like, you can't do this. Yeah. Sorry, I want to do some more axing. I like the axe. It's fun when it's fun. I should definitely sell some potions too. Because that's a money maker. Like, that's how you get crazy high money in Skyrim. Because you can, you know, obviously you can buy a potion that's like worth. Uh, you can buy an ingredient that's worth something cheap and then potentially make a really high quality potion out of it. It's like this thing where, like, just adding a giant toe to a potion makes a bajillion dollars. All right. I pardon for the flashing lights. I will say that a lot of the people getting in probably are aware of it just because, you know, it's a, uh, it's a Elder Scrolls night eye. Let's go ahead and do that. Just get, get, get that going. Get some of those. Oh, this weighs two pounds, huh? Shame. And this weighs seven pounds. Yeah, I'm carrying 11 pounds of potion making stuff. And, like, 30 pounds of potions. That was a thing that always happened to me in Skyrim. I would, like, be like, what's weighing me down? And then I would check my inventory. And, like, I would have already have been carrying... Like, I would literally have sometimes 50 pounds of potions on me. Let's dump this shield. I'll buy another shield later. I do want to keep getting these. Oh, yeah, the Welkin stones are probably also weighing me the fuck down. I don't even know where those are in my inventory. Welkin stone. 50 gold and one pound. Carrying 10 pounds of Welkins, huh? This is fine. I can still block with this. Um, I'm not really blocking that much. They got me in the corner. That ain't good. Let's just do a sip, just in case. Yeah, they're really good. All right, out of the corner. Nobody puts Alfie in the corner. Axe is blunt? No, it's not. It's got an edge on it. Gosh. That's just silly. Like, I know that they're they're simplifying stuff and they're getting rid of the, the axe skill. Because, like, a skill for just hitting a guy with an axe doesn't make sense. 
And like, you know, you gotta you you can essentially use an axe the way one would a club of just madly swinging at a guy. Oh, they can use doors? That ain't good. But yeah, you can use an axe the way that you would use a club, because you just, you know, madly, you know, swing it at a guy. But also, like, you do have to keep the blade pointed at him. Pointed at him. Like that's a thing that does set an axe apart from a um, from a club, because you are pointing the the blade, the sharp end, at a guy when you swing it. What we lose in 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 the name of simplification, you know. I actually don't even mind um, the Skyrim skills. I wish that Skyrim had more RPG elements, because, like, I, I'm i one to actually argue that Skyrim isn't an RPG. It's an open-world game with RPG elements, but I don't think that it's an RPG. Because you, I never feel like you have a moment where you actually make a character. Like, I know that you can spend, you know, 30 years, like, making a character's face, but that's not what I mean. Like, you never pick a class, you don't pick starting stats, you just have, like, a passive buff to certain stats, depending on your choice. And, like, I don't know if that's the same thing. And that's not really what I what I would want. And the thing is, is that I still find Skyrim enjoyable. You know, I still enjoy and have a lot of fun with Skyrim. <clears throat> but I, I admit freely that, like... <clears throat> That ain't good. I've got another uh, restore disease, right? Restore disease, yeah. That's what I want. Wait, this is a poison a poison that restores health? Oh! If it works, it's not stupid. You have lumps and bruises from long practice sessions with all kinds of maces and axes. You're an apprentice with blunt, uh, blunt weapons. You have the standing power attack, which does extra damage. Sorry, I'm trying to... No, I don't want to restore his health. Why would that be an option? Ow. Why in the hell would that ever be an option? <laughs> That shouldn't be a thing. I know that the potions can get into really weird places, but like, come on, guys. All right. <laughs> that not what I need? That's not good. Oh, there we go. Where did that other corpse go? I know that I don't need it, but it's strange that it's not within my line of sight. All right, that was a hairy fight. I'm glad that my uh, uh, my magic keeps getting buffed. That I'm able to keep training my restoration. This is a weird and complicated area. I hope I wasn't talking about something because, boy, I've certainly lost it. I have no idea what I was talking about. Be patient with me. 
I'm pretty sure I've got an undiagnosed ADHD. You can send your condolences to me on Patreon. <laughs> no, that's a joke. My Patreon isn't even set up. I think I have it linked and everything, but like, I don't know if I have it set up with my anything. Send me a check in the mail at... <laughs> nah, no. Sometimes you have a weird moment where you're like, what if I just destroyed my own life? Like, what if I just said my own address right now? What if I... Wouldn't that be weird? And like, yeah, it, well, it would be. I forget the name for it because it's one of those uh, words in the filthy language of French. But it's it's literally this this phrase that means the call of the void. And it's that feeling you get, like, even when you're not suicidal, even when you're neurotypical, even when nothing is wrong with your brain, you're still, like, looking over an edge, like a tall building, and you're like, I could jump. Not that I want to, but I, I could. It's possible, you know? I could jump. Not that I will, not that I want to, just it's possible. Isn't that crazy? Oh, wow. I have found it. Time to take it to Martin. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I love that. Oh, shit. Zombie guardians? All right, that was one episode on this dungeon. I feel like I'm dungeoning a lot in this game. Like, maybe I'm just misremembering, but like, I feel like I didn't do this many dungeons on the main quest in, uh, in Skyrim or Morrowind. Also, I know that there have there totally have been quests. Oh, I've got this as well. Like, I know for a fact that I can do this. Burn undead, right? That's the rules. This is good. Oh, it's the king. I remember you. Oops. Right in here. Okay. See, this is a problem. Because I don't have stuff. Um, Let's just try to buff up then, huh? Can I do this? Will that do anything for me? It's so funny that it's literally like, you just can't fit anything else in your mouth, bro. Oh yeah, you're that king that they mentioned. Stop turning my speed, please. This could be trouble. Oh, this... that'll help. Just <laughs> close your inventory for a second, Warrior Kvatch. Just breathe, you know, let yourself swallow. <laughs> oh, man, this sucks. You know, this is that same problem that you get in Morrowind where, like, things are just straight up allowed to do that. Like, whether or not they should be able to. It's not for me to decide whether they should be able to, uh...
It's not for me to decide whether or not they should, you know, quote unquote, be able to. Oh, I can walk. Oh, come on. I could do it for a second. I knew I could. Gosh. This sucks. Yeah. All right, finally, that's coming to play. <laughs> yeah, my ancestors, they're working for me. Well, it lasted for a bit. It worked for a little. I saw it, it did. Is that you healing yourself? Come on, fall over, fall over, please. <laughs> oh god that was a hard one i'm glad i didn't die let's hard save that huh that was great good episode wow um thank you for coming and listening to my rambling i hope you had a good time i know i did um i'll see you guys later i've been alfred this has been oblivion um tense episode <laughs> Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.